Okay, nine millionth time attempting to record this. Last time was a perfect recording session, and then I accidentally deleted the stupid fifth save, the stupid video file. Like an idiot. I am an idiot. And welcome back to the Tower Show, Joe. Now, as you can probably tell, this isn't the main game. It is the beta slash pre-alpha. And that reason is because somebody else here has a different, well, a different good and bad ending than from the main game. And I think, uh, and that's Shizune. Her Act 2 and her Act 4, I believe, are different, but the Act 1 stays the same. So we're gonna continue with Act 2. Anyway. Attempt number 999. Or 9 million, 9 billion, 9 trillion, I don't know anymore. God. Just kill me at this point. Like, if that doesn't work, I g just doesn't work. I give up. Go find somebody else to look at. There's like some other person. Another no, somebody else did this way better than I did. But I think a lot of it didn't have images in it because it was way before. Anyway, the day after the festival, I slowly rise out of my narrow bed, rubbing sleep from my eyes and feeling very tired. Tired, but very, but pretty happy. Brushing my teeth roughly as I try to remember if I had done so yesterday. I keep running over the events of yesterday in my mind. The fireworks were really amazing. They may have been better than the ones I'd seen back home or even on TV, bursting so close, almost over my head. The food had been hot and delicious, and I don't think there was an experience as pleasant as sitting with friends outside on the open grass and watching the fireworks. Remember how fun yesterday was helps me feel slightly less tired. But my, eyelid, my eyelids are still heavy, and I just want to go back to bed. Suddenly, I remember what day it is. Unless I'm wrong, there's an exam today. I instantly snap wide awake with fear. Can't remember anything I studied yesterday, because it's all been eclipsed by my memories of the festival. My heart almost leaps out of my throat. I wonder if this is some kind of cruel joke, handing out tests almost immediately following the festival. Hey, it's dried. And I was so confident about it yesterday, too. I shout quickly and then open my nose to see what's going to show up on the test, or if there is even more than just one today. To my great relief, I see there's just one exam in my first period class, and that, and that at least half of it is stuff I can do upside down and blindfolded. Unfortunately, I still don't remember anything I studied yesterday. Quickly cramming as much as I reasonably can, I decide I'll probably be able to do well, with a little bit of luck, starting to school a little bit early to beat the rush. Along the way, I go over what I just read in my mind, hoping to memorize it, at least until the test is over. As soon as I step out the door, I notice that the festival booths and stalls still haven't been fully, fully taken apart yet. They still, they still stand on the school grounds, almost eerily in the vacant silence with no one around. <sighs> Halfway to the school, walking between the stalls, I start hearing the grass crunching behind me under someone's feet, and look over my shoulder, feeling slightly creeped out. I see Shizune standing on the grass, holding a bunch of envelopes in her hand. She returns my gaze with a wave and an innocuous look. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. Dot dot dot. Hi Shizune. No sooner than I say it, do I realize that she may want something. That would be the worst possible thing right now. As soon as she lifts the envelopes up, I am thoroughly convinced I am right. Haha, -ha, nice try, but not gonna get me this time silly girl. <laughs> Oh my god, it gets me every time. <laughs> god, my nose is getting clogged. Or at least it feels like that way, I have no clue if it is. Whatever! I turn and walk away. The school is within sight, and I can get at least another 10 minutes worth of valuable studying in at my desk. Shizune swiftly moves in front of me, and I almost bump into her. Frowning, she raises the envelopes above her head like she's going to hit me with them. She looks around quickly and then starts slapping her hands together angrily, crumpling everything in her hand. I almost want to point it out, but Shizune seems to notice about my help, and it only makes her angrier. I should get going. Taking a quick glance at my watch, I keep walking. Shizune gives up and puts her face in and puts her face in her hands in exasperation, coming in close and holding her hands out on my neck as if she is going to strangle me. Stepping back, she holds up a finger, signaling for me to wait a second, then runs off. She probably went to get Misha. There is no way in heck I'm going to stick around, so I hurry to class and get ready to face my exam head on. 
questions are a lot less difficult than I expected, and I take full advantage of it without a second thought. After the test, the school day becomes much easier. I get the feeling I'm not the only one who feels that exam right now. Right after the festival was a bad idea. The teachers generally don't seem too focused on their work. By the time lunch rolls around, I'm already thinking of how to dodge Suzune and Misha. I'm sure they'll hunt me down like an escaped prisoner. An analogy that goes more apt the more I think about it. Eating a very dry sandwich on a school roof, I remember what it's been like here so far. First, I had been a little depressed by the notion of having to go to school here. No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it seemed like I was being sent out to live out my last days in isolation. Kind of like being sent to an old folks home. But it seems like I'm the only here who thinks that way. I'm the only one who keeps thinking like that, unable to stop going back over and over the morbid thoughts. I was soft to try and uh, soft to try and stop doing it. Even if it seems sort of futile. Futile. Why do I keep thinking? I shift my body to try and lie down. The roof is really, really a great place for eating lunch. It's quiet, breezy, and I can eat staring at the open sky behind me. The door to the roof opens gently with a click. Is it, uh, Hanako, please? No, I know who it, I know who it is. Oh, okay. It's Misha. How long has it been? Since last time you appeared in a video? I have no idea. Alright, my voice. Um, should I do my regular voice? I guess so. Maybe. I should probably do a other voice, I have no clue. Ah, God. Yeah, let's try this. Hi, he chan God, no. I start to make a break for the door, but she closes it deftly with a kick. Hiya! No, I'm just kidding. What are you doing? Ah, listen, he chan there's something important we have to talk to you about. We? Oui. So then, where is your other half? We split up to look for you, of course. If one of us finds you, we're supposed to signal the other one. How are you supposed to do that? How is that even possible? How? Eh, uh, how what, he chan How are you going to signal her? How is she going to signal you? They can't yell out to each other now, can they? To briefly thinking about it, I am confident the only way they could communicate with each other would be via flare gun, or some kind of searchlight. Misha touches her earlobe thoughtfully. Hmm, you're right, he chan you're right. I guess we didn't really discuss that. Well, it's okay, the important thing is you're here, so... No. I throw open the door and quickly run down the quickly run down the stairs after closing it behind me. The bell rings as soon as I make it down to the first floor, and I trudge off to my next class, hastily packing the uneaten half of my food in my bag and downing the rest of my water. It is afternoon. Yes, I get the music check right. And because I'm scared that something happened to the recording, this will be the end of the first part. An eight-minute video. Yes, it's short. I'm sorry. Hopefully next one will be like an hour or so, because I'm hoping to make it at least that long.